My name is Lee Fletcher and I'm a planetary scientist at the University of Leicester. Now a large part of the research that we do at the university involves looking at planetary environments from Mercury all the way out to distant Neptune and beyond. Now of all those worlds, Jupiter rightly holds the place of the king of the planets. It's the largest world in our solar system. And when you look at Jupiter through a telescope, what you're seeing is light being reflected back from clouds of ammonia and water ice within this distant stormy atmosphere. The atmosphere is broken up, broken up into belts and zones, zones being the whiter cloud material, belts being the darker stuff. And what you're witnessing here is a perfect weather system in action on the giant planet Jupiter with swirling storm systems like the Great Red Spot and smaller cloud features like those water and ammonia ice clouds that you can see in the image at the bottom of the screen just here. Now scientists at Leicester want to know what makes Jupiter tick, what's going on inside Jupiter beneath these swirling cloud systems and to solve those mysteries the Juno spacecraft was launched in 2011 to fly out to Jupiter in 2016 and has been in orbit ever since trying to unlock the mysteries of this giant planet and figure out what's going on deep down inside. Now scientists at the University of Leicester are working as part of the Juno mission, but also looking ahead to the future. In just two years time, we're hoping to launch a mission called the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE for short. Now JUICE will explore not only the giant planet Jupiter, but also the collection of fascinating moons that are in orbit around the giant planet. And they include Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, and enigmatic Europa, a world which appears to have a five to 10 kilometer thick sheet of ice overlying a dark hidden ocean of water. And who knows, maybe conditions are just right on some of these icy moons to see the rise of what we call habitable conditions, conditions that might be right for the existence of life elsewhere in our solar system. Now JUICE will launch in 2022, will fly out to Jupiter by the end of this decade and will then spend three and a half years orbiting around the giant planet and at the very end of its mission it will hope to go into orbit around Ganymede to become the first spacecraft to ever orbit an icy moon. What's certain is that the future is very exciting for those of us who study giant planets at the University of Leicester.